Our next contestant is John Berengut, who's going to talk to us about BioNano Robomophos. There's a bit in the most recent Avengers movie where uh, Robert Downey Jr. is kind of gearing up for battle and he t taps this panel on his chest and a billion tiny robots come out and assemble themselves into an Iron Man suit around his body. Now, that's a very Hollywood version of what nanotechnology is, but it might not be as far-fetched as you think. You see, in the last decade or so, we actually have gotten to the stage where we can build nanoscale robots. And we can program these nanobots to do nanoscale things, things like position tiny electrical components or deliver drugs to cancer cells. That's not science fiction, that's real. The bit that Hollywood got wrong is that we're still struggling to get these nanobots to assemble themselves into larger formations. And that's gonna be important if we ever want them to do larger things, things like heal a wound or unclog an artery or form into some sort of crime-fighting supersuit. And that's what my research is about, though not the supersuit part, but I've been designing nanobots that do nothing but assemble themselves into very specific formations. Okay, so what are these nanobots and how do we build them? Well, for starters, they're very small. You could fit about 2,000 of them across the thickness of a single hair. And we tend to build them a few hundred billion at a time. Now, that makes it pretty tricky to build them using traditional materials. They don't make screwdrivers that small. So instead, we build them out of biological molecules like DNA. And that's because DNA has those base pairing rules, you know, that make the single strands come together to form that double helix. Well, if we carefully design and code those DNA base pairs in synthetic DNA, we can get them to form much more complex structures like my nanobots here. And we can use those same DNA strands to make the robots move or connect to each other. Now, before we can go ahead and assemble an army of injectable nanosurgeons or a molecular supercomputer, we've got to hit the baby steps first. So here, I've designed my nanobots to assemble into these neat rows. And by tweaking their design, I can make those rows longer or shorter. So you could say my bio nano robots are modular and can create different formations, hence mofos. Now, I know this may sound like it's all a bit of fun, and to be perfectly honest, it is a lot of fun, but it's also serious, because it's gonna be this type of fundamental research into how we organize matter at the nanoscale that's gonna lead us to the next generation of nanomaterials and nanomedicines and nanoelectronics. And while we might still be a few years away from the crime-fighting supersuit, this is us making progress a few hundred billion tiny robots at a time. Thank you.